All right, uh, good morning. My name is Roger Gillis, and I'm a librarian at Dalhousie University in Halifax, and I also work with uh, the BKB team. So what I did for my presentation is I did a little bit of an experiment using Open Monograph Press. I wanted to see how it would work as a platform for open textbooks. So here in, here in Canada, we have some great open textbooks initiatives, uh, BC Campus and eCampus Ontario being some of them. And I wasn't so concerned with authoring and creating open textbooks as I was, was with seeing how textbooks might be adapted and, and reused in an institutional context. So what I wanted to do is just look at OMP and see how the whole workflow behind the scenes mechanisms would lend themselves to if somebody wanted to use an open textbook and run it through the process and then have OMP as sort of a course catalog or, or bookstore for, um, for open textbooks. So if you're not familiar with OMP, it's uh, the Open Monograph Press and it's part of the PKP suite of products. And it's really geared towards um, some of these editorial workflows and essentially like a university press in a box. Uh, so open textbooks, uh, some of the, the workflows are similar in a way, but they're also rather different too. So I wanted to see how well this would work and kind of re-envisioning it as a platform for more open textbooks and focusing on adaptation and, and things like this. So what I did was I have a test instance of OMP running at my institution and I took a sample textbook from BC campus and I ran it through the workflow with an eye to how these things would work in an open textbooks context. So I took the, the book, um, it was CC license, it could be reused and um, just some highlights from what I found as a result too. So one of the really cool things in OMP was that you could have monograph components. So for example, with uh, the open textbooks that were part of the BC campus, they had editable files like Pressbooks, XML files, different versions for the published versions like EPUB and PDF versions, and was able to break those out into components. So this part of the OMP workflow lent itself to that very well. Um, so some of the other advantages was the, the workflow and how you could use it if, in a kind of pick and choose manner where if you didn't want to use a certain aspect, say copy editing, you could kind of skip that. It didn't, that didn't really apply in my context. But what I did do was use the internal external review mechanisms to have a model of uh, open review, but which unfortunately couldn't be published, but it could, I could at least model that through the review forms in OMP. And what I wanted to do too is eventually publish that, but that, that didn't, uh, it wasn't actually a capability in OMP. So here is kind of the final stage of what it looked like running through the process where I uploaded all the different monograph components and was able to make them all uh, open access. And here's the, the published version too, and these slides will be posted online if you wanna go and see the, the demo version too. You can see the different uh, monograph components uh, on the side too that I, I used. And yeah, I think there were just a few um, drawbacks overall. I think it did lend itself well as a open textbook platform. Um, the, some of the, the love that OJS is getting and, and some of the features, things like versioning and um, uh, importing, it would be great to see those things in OMP as well. I think there's some great use cases for open textbooks uh, with that too. And so some of those things might be coming. Um, and integration with um, authoring tools would be a really good thing because a lot of people are concerned with uh, you know, re remixing and adapting open textbooks and they want to see them reused. So having some, some integration with tools like uh, Fidus Writer or um, open type setting stack, that would be really neat to see as well too. So yeah, just in closing, I think it does show promise as using for an open textbook platform. Um, with some, some enhancements and some workarounds. And uh, yeah, it would be interesting to see OMP used in this manner uh, a bit more. I think there's a lot of promise. So that's it for me. Thank you.